This is Wembley Beach in Devon, a very special place. I'm Chris the Shore Crab and I live in the rock pools here. It's high tide and you can see some of the fish that live over the rock pool area. Later I'm going to take you on a rock pool safari, but first we have to wait for the tide to go out. This takes six hours normally, but we've speeded it up especially for you. As the tide goes out, some of the fish swim deeper and the rest of us marine animals either stick tight to a rock or hide away in crevices or under rocks to keep away from predators. It's nearly low tide now. Devon Wildlife Trust's Wembury Marine Centre team are heading out on a rock pool safari and we're going to join them. Before they start, they talk about the seashore code. This tells you the right things to do to keep us rock pool animals and yourself safe. Right way up. Enjoy looking under rocks, but always replace them carefully, just how you found them. One at a time. Always put seawater in your bucket first and no more than one creature at a time. No nets. Be gentle catching animals in rock pools. Use your hands, not nets. Put me back. Many animals have special homes, so always return them to where you found them. Watch your step. Take care not to damage seashore creatures underfoot or by pulling them off rocks. Be kind. Be safe. Check tide times. Avoid dangerous cliffs and slippery rocks and always take your litter home. We are the Rock Pool Safari Big Five and you get points for spotting us. There's me, Chris the Shore Crab. Then there's a prawn cleaning his antennae. Number three is this cheeky shanny swimming around the rock pool. Number four is a cushion star slowly going across the seabed. Finally, we have a pair of hermit crabs. The male is carrying the female around until she is ready to mate. One of these hermit crabs wants the other one's shell. Did you hear that? He is banging their shells together to try and persuade the other to leave. Who do you think is going to win? Well, it's the end of the fight for now. Let's go and discover some more animals. With the sea over the rocks, the beadlet enemies have their tentacles stretched out, ready to catch food. And the top shells are busying around, eating algae on the rocks. Now, with the tide out, the beadlet enemies have retracted their tentacles and they look just like little blobs of jelly. And the top shells have stopped moving around. Let's look at this other rock. There are limpets there on the rock. There are little top shells called flat or purple top shells. And then there's other top, sort of top shells called thick top shells. And there's a edible periwinkle there. They're all grazers. They graze on the algae. But there's one animal, this dog whelk here, that is a predator, a carnivore. And that feeds by drilling holes in animals like limpets and barnacles and others. And it pumps in digestive enzymes into their inside and turns it into a sort of liquid soup. This dog whelk is drilling through the shell of the limpet. Look at the hole it's made. Limpets move around the rocks to feed. And if a dog whelk climbs on them, they will rock to try to shake it off. The empty barnacle shells here are a sign that a driller killer dog whelk has been to visit. These barnacles are underwater. You can see their feeding legs sieving the seawater for food. This shanny is waiting to nibble off some of the barnacle's feeding legs. I'm very carefully lifting up this rock to see what's hiding underneath. This is a great find. Look, this edible crab has actually just climbed out of its old armour suit. That's the old armour suit in front there. And look at the size difference. Look how much it's puffed itself up with water after coming out of its old suit because that's how crabs grow. They can't grow continuously. They have to do in stages like that and get rid of their old armour, climb out, puff them 
themselves up to the new size. And we'll leave it alone in a minute because it's going to be very vulnerable. It's going to be still soft and it needs to harden up before it's uh, safe and can go around and feed and be protected from predators. So let's put the rock down carefully just as we found it. Shore crabs like me find newly malted soft edible crabs an easy tasty meal. Even though they are bigger and normally more powerful than us, when their armour is soft their claws and legs do not work properly and they cannot fight us off. When their armour hardens it's a different story. They are then able to bury themselves in the seabed as this one is or stay well hidden in a crevice or under a rock. So now you know the crab secret. If you find what looks like a dead crab on the beach and it doesn't smell and feels light, it's a molt like this. If you lift the back up, you can see inside. A shore crab like me has to molt lots of times through my life. These are the molts from one crab. But before all that, I started off as a tiny egg like all of these under my mother's tail flap. I then hatched from my egg as a larvae and fed in the plankton before settling back down on the seabed as a miniature crab. Look at the one on a 1p coin to see how small they really are. Now we're going to lift this rock up really carefully and if we look closely we can see all sorts of animals under this one rock. Here is a Montagues or furrowed crab. We sometimes call it the bodybuilder crab because it looks so strong. And there's a pipe fish there, really slender fish, a bit like a seahorse, and some little porcelain crabs nearby as well. This clingfish here is guarding two different batches of eggs, one of which, look, you can see the silver eyes. They're nearly ready to hatch. Hiding here is a velvet swimming crab and we can watch it bury itself in the sand and then just at the last minute give a little shake and completely disappear. Here are white keel worms and a limpet on the stone here and now we're going to lower the rock down very carefully so we don't hurt any of the animals and they can stay safe. As well as looking under rocks you can see a lot of animals by just looking into pools you have to stay still and not move around. And also it's important if you want to pick anything up, use your hands, not nets, because they can damage the animals. And you might not see much at first, but if you just look carefully, you can see lots like these top shells, a limpet moving very slowly, a dog whelk behind. And under this periwinkle shell is a surprise. It's a hermit crab living in it. Look at it having a good look round. And here we've got an old crab malt and these prawns are fighting over the scraps of food. But they're no match for this shanny that dashes out and grabs the scraps. And here gliding along the floor of the pool is a brittle star. And just as it slides in under the stone, we see a worm pipe fish. And on the wall of the rock pool is a beetle anemone with its tentacles spread out to catch food and a snake locks an enemy with green tentacles and a crab nearby. And here's quite a large edible crab under its hard suit of armour walking along the pool. And Chris the shore crab out in the pool looking for food. And now the tide's coming in quite fast up the gully and the marine centre team are going to lead us back to the beach at the end of a wonderful rock pool where we've seen lots of animals and we hope you'll tell your family all about the wonderful creatures that live on this beach. See you soon. Please don't forget the seashore code. It's there to keep us and you safe. <laughs>